bright for country all week. England finished third this morning by beating Italy 4-2 on penalties. Highlights of the final between France and Czechoslovakia taking place at White Hart this afternoon. France are playing right to what, and the commentator there is Alan Parry. Fresh well, It was an ambitious effort from that range. Ucho making the run, but then showing the ball to the fullback. And a good run by the number 12. He just carried it. No, the linesman changed his mind. Let him carry on. That was a magnificent goal. What a goal that was. Unbelievable goal in the ninth minute by Bertrand Rousseau. Well, what a run. It started from deep inside his own half. There's a suspicion he'd carried the ball over the line. But from that difficult angle, he found the net superbly. Organic for a moment, but now it's the French who break clear. Rebar, good strong run this, and he's got a player to left. He chooses high on the right. Chipped in towards Guillaume, who got up well, and Thomas with the shot. Good move by the French. Three different players involved. Rebar with that force forward. Fine high on the right hand side. His cross aimed at Guillaume, a good header, and when it threw Thomas. The shot was powerful, but off target. And now Balash again. Got round Trechet very well, and inevitably, Pornyak forward to receive it. And played back to Balash. Trechet making it. Ooh, and that difficult bouncing shot was in the end superbly saved by Savonadier. What a difficult moment that was for the goalkeeper. The five organic came, good save. A horrible moment for the goalkeeper that. And with this swirling wind around, it's uh, really a problem day. So the Czechs have another corner. And it's a better corner. Skudrabi getting up and the goalkeeper saves it, drops it. And in the end, gets a free kick and gets a kick again. Tested here. Skurabi was right in front of him. He dropped it, as you can see. But the referee at that moment had whistled and um, some justified annoyance. Good climb by Preset. Balash breaking clear on the left hand side. Closely marked by Rizzo. Still manages to turn it in well. Horvath. And it ball comes to Kukleta. And that miss. And strangely enough, it was perpetrated by probably the outstanding Czech player so far. Balash persistent, winning the ball. And uh, when it came spinning off the defender's leg to Kukleta, he ought to have done better. Coming well. Hit. And Pai has continued his run. Not a bad ball. So deception. But at least the uh, French get a throw out of it. Guillaume. Comes to Fournier. But he wanted too much time to control it, really. Wins it back, though. Brechet. Good ball. Thomas. Who earned that? So, a corner of the French, who still lead by a goal to nil. In high towards Pai and a good header, Freshe. And the 16 and a half year old gets his first uh, opportunity to find the net, but lifted the shot over. The corner won well by the number nine Pai and uh, is knocking it down into space. Jay underneath the shot. Good ball for Horvath. And that's a corner. So a corner then to the Jacks. Ooh, well, Russo is one of the strangest, brilliant things like that first half goal and then does crazy things like miss kicking on his own post from that corner. It's another corner. Oh, the flick over the top. Was very, very close to a 
inventive by Czechoslovakia. Orgrid coming up a little back flick and just over. Kabil is with him and gives away the free kick. The attendance at White Hart Lane, 4,600. Fittingly, easily the best of the tournament. Horvath, and it comes instead to Balash. Horvath again. Panak still with him. Skillful little player. Horvath the cross, not a good one. Preche did well, because that was a difficult bouncing ball. Bernier, the captain, Thomas making a run on the left, but uh, not a good ball. Soka. And it's difficult to believe that uh, the Czechs won't get at least one goal from all this possession. They've had so much of the ball. Balash. Good run. And not a bad at the end of it. Arguably the outstanding player of the game. Stanislav Balash, one of the Bratislava, taking that return ball, beating the defender and striking a good shot just wide. Mass beaten by the bounce, and here's Balash, but he lets uh, That was a good decision. There's an extra man on here. Beautiful run by Kukleta, and he's still got... And what a fine run. Still in play. Soka. Czechoslovakia's equalizing goal. Fabulous run. Is beating two, three of them, and finally. Well, the stash ought to have done better. The ball dropping very invitingly to him. And no conviction at all behind the shot. Amongst the spectators here today, being spectacles in the center of the picture, Graham Taylor, manager of the England youth team, which of course was beaten in the semi-final. And Bobby Robson, the England senior manager in there too. Here's Organic. Kukleta. Set up for Skorabi and Kukleta again. And still Kukleta. Well, still. And then he tripped over the ball. Well. Balash with a great little turn. Oh! In the end, it just wouldn't happen. Skurabi's shot pulled wide of target. Balash who's so hard to save this game for the Czechs with another lovely piece of skill and a cross which found Skurabi, chested it down well and then pulled it high and wide. Grusman. By Stash. Could let the troll it. But Kolar could. Still Kolar. Cross in and then the corner off the left back Ely. The Czechs looking anxious, only three and a half minutes to go. There's still a goal down. But they have a corner. Looks good, and the goalkeeper looked even better. Good save by Sabanadier. Ruzo, whose goal early in the game is still the only score of the match. Well, that was very lazy and sloppy by uh, Bernier, one of the French substitutes. Kukleta. Kabil. Good drive and the bounce. He could have deceived Savonadier but didn't. Kabil coming forward field, hitting a good right foot shot which found pleasantly. They're into time and it off. There's little of that, there's none of that, and the French celebrate a victory that, quite honestly, they hardly deserve. An early lead with that classic goal by Rousseau. But since that goal, they have had to defend almost stop. They've had so much possession, created so many openings. French held out.
second time in their history they win the European Youth Championship and for the second time Slovakia being finalists. The final score here at White Hot Lane, France 1, Czechoslovakia 0. And so the French captain Laurent Fournier stay from the president of UEFA, Dr. Frankie, the white-haired gentleman in the centre, the European Youth Championship trophy. Victory for the French, but one that really, I think, us neutral observers will say they hardly deserved on the balance of play. It was a classic goal which won the final for them.